the spasticity in the legs of a, a, a child who presents like Max uh, makes it almost impossible for them to open their legs. A practitioner wanting to bring an appropriate environment to a child struggling in this way, we have to figure out what would be the baseline of, of recognizing one's own legs as two separate parts of oneself meant to be under one's conscious control and, and gain some traction in the environment with. And one of the primary ways in which that occurs in any infant and for all of us is that we, uh, we roll a little bit. We move a little bit right and we move a little bit left. And if you saw how I worked with Max a little bit, that's the way we started today. Simple movement going right and left. And you see that Max has an easy capacity to look right and left and turn his eyes and turn his head. If this were not true about Max, then we'd have to establish a certain level of right and leftness in his orientation in space so that he could begin the project and, and the task of differentiating his legs or his arms or any, any part of him that you would want to be differentiated.